So I started reading the Bible and I just don't get it. Well, which book are you reading? Genesis. I didn't even make it out of the first chapter. How can I believe God created the world in seven days when in science class we learned it took billions of years? That's a really good question. Didn't we talk about this in religion yesterday? Oh yeah, something about what the original authors were intending to say. What does that mean? It means we look for clues in the text that can tell us what type of writing that particular passage is. The Bible is full of all different kinds of writing. Poetry, history, stories, letters, wise sayings, and so on. And each kind of writing needs to be read differently. And you know the authors of Genesis weren't trying to write a science book. But the Bible says God created the world in seven days. The Bible also says God is a rock. But we know what that means, right guys? That God is steadfast and loyal. That we can anchor our lives on him. Do you just carry that around with you? So what's the date remaining in the creation story? Let's take a closer look and figure this out together. Mia, you can be God. <laughs> Limitless power! Actually, you know what? Never mind. Elise, you can be God. Okay. Let there be a universe! Whoa, cool! Rock! How'd you get it? Okay, focus. Maybe we should just draw this on the board. That's probably a better idea. So, Bria, the way the creation story is structured can actually help us understand what the original authors were trying to tell us. First, the earth starts as a formless void. Then, God spends three days forming it, and the next three days filling in the spaces he formed with the living things. God looks over all of it and says, it is very good. Finally, on the seventh day, God rests and establishes the Sabbath, making it holy. Okay, but what does this all mean? Well, it means that the universe is structured and intelligible, which actually is why we can have science in the first place. It means that existence is good. And it means the universe is created for worship. We can see this if we skip ahead to the book of Exodus, where Moses is building the tabernacle. What's a tabernacle? It's like a tent. In this case, it was where God dwelt amongst the Israelites when they were in the wilderness between Egypt and the Promised Land. If I was God, I would live somewhere better than a tent. Um, what does a tabernacle have to do with the creation of the universe? Let me handle this. You ready? Okay, so in Exodus 25, 31, God gives Moses six sets of specific instructions for building the tabernacle. Then he gives a seventh set of instructions about the Sabbath day. When the work is completed, the author uses the same word as in the creation story. Finally, Moses looks over all of the work that has been done and blesses the people, which is the same thing God does after he creates the universe. So creation finds its fullest meaning in worship of God. And worship of God is our eternal destiny. The Bible starts with the creation story and ends with the creation of the new heaven and the new earth in Revelation 21. Biblical book ends. Whoa, okay, this is a lot. So basically, what I hear you saying is that we can learn things that are deeply true about the universe from both our scientific understanding and from the Bible? Exactly! And the amazing thing is, the Catholic Church is often the forefront of scientific discovery. Wait, wasn't there a priest who came up with the Big Bang Theory? Yes, Father George Lemaitre. Le what? Lemaitre, he was Belgian. Okay, one final question. Why is there a second creation story after the first one? In the second story, we get to see where we fit into creation. We see that we are created by God for God, to be in a relationship with Him and with each other. That's what it means to be human. That's where we find our greatest joy and purpose in life. <laughs> Sorry. Well, thanks everyone. I learned a lot. I think we'll go, go read some more. Next up, Leviticus. Oh. Hey, uh, can I keep this? Uh, sure. Thanks. Wait, what? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> it also says that God uh, is a rock. Oh, shh. <laughs> uh, uh, hey, can I, can I keep this? Thanks. Wait. Three, two, one. 